We kick off with Ogaran fully naked as Ira, powered up by acrobatic Silky, saves him. Instead of addressing the chaos, she blushes and says, What a lewd state you are in. Are you proposing already? Classic Ira. But wait, there is no time for flirting because the Sapo aliens are back and now they want Ira's banana organs too. These aliens are really obsessed with human anatomy. While Ira goes full badass against the Sapo and their hired boxer alien, Ogaran is hilariously running around completely naked, trying to find something, anything to cover himself. Ira launches herself at the Sapo leader, but he Casually sorts her away like a rejected pinball. Boxer alien pipes up, don't include me in your attacks, to which Serpo claps back, you're cheap labor, you're replaceable. Savage. Ira, undeterred, corners the boxer alien and is ready to land the finishing blow when the Serpo leader intervenes. He sends her crashing into the wall and pinning her there with his psychic powers. But Ira doesn't back down. I'm the chosen one, I won't be defeated by the likes of you. She declares heroically, right before the boxer alien gut punches her, sending her flying through the wall. Yes, being chosen doesn't come with wall immunity. Just as the Serpo aliens are about to use Ira for their creepy evolution, evolution. plan, Okaran makes his grand entrance. Still naked, awkwardly sidestepping while covering the essentials. He declares, There are things more important than clothes, and transforms into his swaggering alter ego. But the Serpo aren't impressed. They combine their power to create the Awesome Zone, a psychic field that nullifies all transformations. While Okaran and Ira are down for the count, the Serpo explains their brilliant plan. Let the boxer alien do the dirty work because they can't step into their own zone. Lazy money. Just as things are looking grim, Momo arrives in style, smashing through the alien psychic barrier like a boss. Her first word, Okarun, you moron, stop making out with that bitch. She's still salty from last episode's misunderstandings. Okarun, lying on the ground, says, I missed you. Momo, not missing a beat, snaps back, shut up, you pervert. Love is in the air, folks. Just as the trio teams up to fight back, the Serpo aliens pull out their weirdest move yet. The Serpo inject their boxer alien with some alien juice, turning him into a mantis shrimp hybrid. And this guy does not play. His air punch just send everyone flying. Things take a turn for the worse when Nessie, yes, the creature from the last episode, shows up transforming the entire environment into water. The walls, ceiling, everything. Okarun, ever the enthusiast, gets all excited, exclaiming, it's Nessie. But Momo quickly shuts him down, yelling, forget it, that thing's bad news, we need to get out of here. As chaos unfolds, one of the Serpo aliens tries to confront Nessie, snapping, why didn't you hold back the female person like you were supposed to? But Nessie isn't having any of it and casually slices the Serpo in half. Seeing this, the gang freaks out and scrambles to flee. But before Ira can make her escape, the mantis shrimp alien takes her by surprise, launching her straight into the ceiling with a brutal strike. While escaping, Momo and Okarun get into a classic lover's spat. Momo accuses Okarun of making out with Ira again, while Okarun furiously denies it. If you care so much, just say so. He shouts, grabbing her hand. Momo, blushing furiously, snaps back. Don't touch me, pervert. The tension is real. When the mantis shrimp alien attacks again, Momo comes up with a genius plan. Using her psychic powers, she perches on Okarun like like he's a jet and steers him through the water to save Ira. Together, they manage to outmaneuver the alien and save Ira. Momo, fed up with water slowing them down, orders Ira to strip to reduce resistance. Ira protests, claiming she's saving that for her wedding night. But Momo bluntly retorts. Strip. Strip. Meanwhile, the mantis shrimp boxer complains about their escape, only to see a panicked Serpo swimming away from Nessie's rampage, babbling about its unstoppable power. With nothing working, the Serpo decides it's merging time. Back with the gang, Ira teases Okarun, saying he must take responsibility for seeing her in lingerie, only for Momo to sass, that's worth one candy. The fight heats up as the merged monstrosity attacks. Momo pulls off a next level strategy. She tricks the merged alien into punching with full force on land. But here's the kicker, mantis shrimp punches are only effective underwater. On land, the impact causes their own limbs to implode. With its arm destroyed, the alien transforms into a reptilian nightmare. But Ira and Okarun team up for a final attack, defeating it once and for all and finally they return to their world. With the fight finally over, Momo and Okarun share a laugh of relief. Until it hits them. They are practically naked and the entire school is watching. Chaos ensues as Okarun and Momo ball through the corridors, desperately trying to dodge the mortified stares of their classmates. Ira quickly joins the sprint, adding to the hilariously awkward spectacle. And and that's where the episode wraps up on a chaotic, embarrassing and perfectly dandered and note. What was your favorite moment? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.